Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey 8 Box Pick Your Team number 2. Brand new release, just dropped today and if you follow the instructions, you got a chance to win a sealed box of the brand new SP Authentic. We'll ship it to you sealed. We'll do that at the end of the break. Here it is, we marked that Pick Your Team 2 second inner case of the master that we popped open. And good luck. Thanks for joining me on a Wednesday, hump day. Appreciate everybody getting into it. Ryan Lind with Double Last Spot Mojo. Stars next to his name. That means he uh, won that. Uh, gets a little extra mojo, I guess. And the rooftops mean you won that spot. The little rooftops in the filler. The Last Spot Mojo stars mean 70% of the time. Those teams usually hit 100% of the time. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin's hoping for a Sidney Crosby autograph. Matt's saying go Devils. Anything Devils would be great for Matt. And remember, no vet common ship in this per the item description. Autos, numbered cards, inserts, obviously. Will all parallels, will all ship. All right, good luck. A lot of things happening in uh, in the hockey world. We've got, well, my Kings made a, made a trade with Minnesota. They got Kevin Fiala. But a great season last year. So hopefully he'll, he'll help out the, help out the Kings. Looking forward to it. Trying to get into a little more hockey knowledge is not very deep, but year by year, season by season, I'm trying to get a little more into it. Breaks like this, this helps me out too. Get familiar with some players here. Got the NHL draft coming up as well. Diego asked this question earlier, but I don't think we got too many answers. Who who are the uh, who are the players we're looking out for in the upcoming NHL draft? Who's like supposed to go number one? Or who are the top picks supposed to be? Yeah, Drew saying great trade for the Wild. That defenseman, the Wild God, is going to be a stud. Right, I saw that in the article that he's from. Oh, he's from Minnesota too? I knew he was going to University of Minnesota. So that should be pretty good. That would be good to see. Homegrown on the home team. Good luck. There's Matthew Kachuk, Spectrum FX. Uh, some of these say, will say like level one. I'm sure there's some sort of short print in this there. Ooh, look at this. Sign of the Times, Thomas Hurdle. 25 out of 49, he's giving you that, I get it, Ninja Hurdle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Hurdle, 25 out of 49, gold ink autograph. That is for the Sharks. Do, 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 do. Han with the San Jose Sharks. Won that team in the filler. There you have it. Uh, 
That's nine ninety nine. Kevin Ball for the New Jersey Devils. That'll be for Matt. And we've got a future watch autograph, Kirby Doc. Ninety nine out of three ninety nine. That is for Chicago. Logan with the Blackhawks. Won the Blackhawks in a filler. And that's from 2019. 2020 SP Authentic. We've seen some instances of them throwing in some of the... Some stuff from the older set. Another sign of the times autograph. That's Jordan Stahl for Carolina. Rock you like a hurricane. Jeremy Port, Carolina, on the board. Nice on-card autograph. All right, box one in the books. Has any info on some of the draft picks we're looking forward to? Not a lot of NHL draftology experts, right? I'm sure. I'm sure there's mock draft out there somewhere that we could look up at some point. Got a lot of baseball happening here, and I'll do a. This is about an hour long break. We'll do a recap on this. Uh, we'll do a recap on this at the end of the video. So if you're replaying this video, if you're rewatching this, you can scroll to the end. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me here. Let's see. Mariners beat the uh, Orioles 9-3. to Apparently Julio Rodriguez crushes a homer to extend the Mariners' lead. Tigers beat the Giants 3-2. Padres shut out the Diamondbacks 4-0. Padres apparently snapping a three-game losing streak with a little small ball. Kyle Isbell hit a solo shot, putting the Royals on top of the Rangers 2-1. Astros shut out the Mets 2-0. Mets only managing two hits in this one. In spite of the Nationals' 16 hits, the Pirates, on only just nine hits, beat the Nationals 8-7. Ryan Reynolds carrying the Pirates with a three-homer day. There you go, Brian Reynolds. Yankees win again. They've got 56 wins, only 20 losses. They beat the A's 5-3. to three. Aaron Judge hammers homer number 29. How many homers does Aaron Judge finish the season with, ladies and gentlemen? Over or under 60? Brewers beat the Rays 5-3 in Tampa Bay. The rest of the games are in progress or have not started yet. We'll get to those in the next box. Connor McDavid limited parallel. Anze Kopitar, Spectrum FX. Love the old King's colors there. Uh, in Koo with the Oilers. There's a level one Mor Morgan Gecki for uh, Carolina. For Carolina. That will be for Jeremy.
Steve Locke likes what the Wild got, responded to Drew, but he'd rather still have Fiala and his points in that lineup. There's Rhett Gardner. 748 out of 999. Rhett. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Dallas Stars, that's going to be for, for Jessica in Dallas. Anthony Mantha for the Red Wings. 13 out of 100, limited auto materials. Two-color patch on card auto. For Detroit, that would be for Steve H in Detroit. That's him. It's from an older set right here, 2019-2020. Yeah, Steve Locke says, I've got go for ho hockey season tickets, so he does know. Yeah, Drew's right. Brock Faber, real good. Trivia, who was the first MLB player to hit four home runs in a single game? First? I don't know who the, who the first one is. I know Sean Green did it against the Brewers. Most recently, I want to say. I don't think anyone's had a four homer game since. Dodgers Sean Green against the group. Games in progress. We've got uh, in the top of the fifth, Braves are leading the Phillies 2 1. They've got three hits a peach. A peach? A peach seat? A piece. Red Sox at Blue Jays tied at one. In the top of the fourth, in the middle of the fifth, in Cleveland, Guardians are leading the Twins 3-0. Both teams have five hits apiece. Bottom of the third, Marlins at Cardinals, scoreless. Top of the second, Cubs leading the Reds 1-0. Dodgers at Rockies coming up in about 10, 15 minutes or so. A little over 15 minutes from now. Close, soon. And then uh, a little bit after, about an hour after that, White Talk at Angels will be, uh, will be started. In case you're wondering, or if you care, if you have a little financial interest in the Phillies beating the Braves tonight, I've got a little financial interest in the, uh, the White Sox beating the Halos tonight. No other guesses? Steve Locke guessing Roy Hobbs. He is indeed a natural hitter. That's a good guess. Forty-four out of one hundred, Brent Burns, Burnsy. Going to San Jose. That'll be for Han. Spectrum FX, Steven Samkos. Uh, the first to do it was Bobby Lowe. Was the first hit four home runs in a single game, doing so on May 30th, 1894 for the Boston Bean Eaters. I remember that game like it was yesterday. There's Brendan Gallagher, Montreal Canadiens. They said it could be never, never, they said it could never be done, Rex. But he did it. Brendan Gallagher, Montreal Canadiens, Stephen P. Oh, absolutely, I remember it. Like it was yesterday. Trivia, Rex, those four homers were only considered homers because they couldn't find it. It, it, it fell into the, to the woods off in the distance back in 1894. Or maybe a creek. Lost in the brush.
The record for most home runs in a single game is eight in the Texas League. Who cares about the Texas League, though? Well, give me the major leagues, Rex. Mark McGuire uh, in, in Little League in Claremont, California, uh, hit 14 home runs in a game. 92 out of 399. Let's not get into the Texas League. That's Ty Smith for New Jersey. There you go, Matt. Devil's autograph. And there's Eric Stahl. Sabres, Buffalo! Mark got randomized the Sabres in the uh, filler. I don't know how many boxes. This is the third box. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight autos after three boxes. Sounds pretty good, right? How many are we supposed to get? Collect one iconic autograph Future Watch rookie per box? Next box. Let's see how many autos we get out of here. The more the merrier, I say. happening I guess active sports it's just baseball now that the Stanley Cup playoffs are over but I guess Julio Rodriguez had a two-run homer this is 12th of the season part of the Mariners six run fourth Mike Clevenger one hit ball for six innings beating the uh, Diamondbacks. Max Scherzer, Jacob deGrom taking their next steps in, uh, in their rehab. The Phillies have no timetable for Bryce Harper after his surgery. An ailing back, old aches and pains for Marlins Jazz Chisholm going to the 10-day uh, IL. Mayer reopens Hawks on Ray Stadium site, yeah. Get the with all these great prospects we always seem to get for the Rays, let's put them in a nice shiny new stadium, maybe on the other side of the bay, where like the Lightning play or something like that. Easy, easier for people to get to. That'd be nice. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. is apparently happy with recovery and can start swinging in two weeks. Yeah, a little bit of a slower time of the year for sports. But we will get, we'll be punctuated by uh, NBA free agency, which I think opens tomorrow or next week. And then we'll have uh, the all-star, ba baseball all-star game before you know it. Then all of a sudden, NFL mini camp start to open up. There's John Leonard. 398 out of 999, left winger for the Sharks. That's going to be for Han. And yes, Steve Locke, one month until the National. At the end of July, Team Jaspies, uh, many of us will be making our way across the country to, uh, to the Sin City of the East, Atlantic City. There's Tim Stutzel, 584 out of 999 for Han and Ottawa.
<laughs> yeah, it is. We talked about that a little bit yesterday. Archie Bradley broke his elbow trying to uh, trying to get into that big Angels Mariners brawl. Stutzel's a big rookie. Steve Locke saying nice. There you go, Han. All right. Halfway through this inner case break, we've got more of this in the store, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I actually don't exactly know what Archie Bradley was doing. Did he? What was, what was he doing? Oh, he was climbing over the dugout railing. And I get, did he f fall? Fell? He fell? Fall? Fell? Oh, there's more details. Bradley slipped and fell off the railing when the brouhaha broke out in the second. Whoops. Yeah, I know. I just read that, Rex. All right. Next box. Good luck. Yeah, let's find some. Yeah, Steve Locke got the wild. Let's find, let's see if we can find some. Uh, a Kaprizov or two in here. He's pretty good. Heard of him. Ah, so the NBA free agency does begin Thursday at 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Jaspi time. So, although there's I think strict rules on not tampering in the NBA. I feel like every year, the minute the uh, the, tr the the free agency window opens, like Woj is dropping all sorts of free agency trade bombs. I'm like, how do they do that if they're not supposed to be tampering? I think uh, was it Windhorst or Woj or one of the W's were saying that. Uh, that even though Kyrie opted into the contract, that there is still could be a chance that he could be traded. Maybe not to the Lakers, but somewhere. Some of the bigger names of the NBA free agency is uh, Zach Levine, Jalen Brunson, who people are saying he, he's all but going to be a New York Knicks. What, is, what does Dallas do? But Zach Levine, Jalen Brunson, DeAndre Ayton are all out there. So we'll see. We'll see what goes down tomorrow. I think I heard that some of the look at the, no against the Kings. Let's see. Oh, the overtime winner in his NHL debut. Uh, I think someone someone mentioned that these celebrated moments can be autographed too. Not a moment I celebrate though. Not a moment that I celebrate. All right, we got Sam Lafferty, seven twenty eight out of nine ninety nine for Pittsburgh. That's going to be for Kevin M. And the penguins. Matt's asking, who do you draft first overall in your fantasy league this year? Behind Elias Peterson. That's a good question. What does everyone think? 11 out of 25, sign of the times. Dominic Kubelik. What is this, a something rookie season? Someone decipher that? Number 306? 
That's for Chicago. That's going to be for Logan Smith, who won the Blackhawks in the uh, in the filler. I don't know someone someone with a little more hockey knowledge than me should be able to deci decipher that. You know, Matt, I'll be honest with you. I have been uh, in an auction league for so many years that I have not paid attention to who should go number one overall. I really feel like an auction league is the way to go. I don't have to number. I don't have to worry about someone lucking into, you know, that number one overall pick. Twenty-eight out of one hundred Dallas Stars. That'll be for Jessica. It's a level one Nicholas Bodine, Spectrum FX. Sign of the Times for Carolina, Tevu Turvanian. Sign of the Times, on-card autograph. Steve, Steve Locke's thinking first overall pick in fantasy football. It's got to be a running back, right? Who? I guess any other year you would be like, uh, oh, Carolina, by the way. Jeremy Port. There you go, Jeremy. I guess... In recent years, you would you would say uh, you would say like Derrick Henry, but he's coming off a big injury. Or no, did he play a few games at the, towards the end of the season? So maybe he's maybe you you go with him. All right, three boxes to go. Question was asked but not answered. We were, I was trying to. We we're trying to see if the community knew uh, who were some of the top picks, potential top picks in the draft coming up on July seventh and eighth. I guess we'll be watching round one together here on the seventh. Um, North American skaters. This is according to ESPN. Who are your team? Here are the 400 at the 407 of the top prospects available according to NHL scouting. I'm not going to read off all 400, but for North Americans, maybe a Shane Wright, Logan Cooley, Cutter Gautier. We got Matthew Savoy, uh, Connor, uh, Gecky. I guess Morgan's brother. What is Morgan Gecky? Some of those guys, it's a big list, huge list here. But that that's your top five right there according to uh, according to ESPN. Canadians have the first overall pick. New Jersey Devils, Coyotes, Kraken, Flyers are your top five. So with the trade that the Kings made, they gave the Minnesota Wild the Kings a 19th pick. So now the Kings have two first-round picks. Or the, the Wild have two first-round picks, 19 and 24. Would have been Brock Faber, but he was already drafted and then traded. So I've heard anyway. This is Steve. I was kind of reading somewhere that, that, that the second half of the draft, in the first round anyway, be a lot of a lot of value can be found in that second half and on onwards.
All right, next box. Good luck. This is Gabe Velarde for the Kings to nine ninety nine. Who's got my king? Steve Locke does. And we got level one Spectrum FX Future Watch, Mikhail Berdeen. It's a cool looking Kayla Carr insert. Colorado, your champions, Michael with the Avs. This goes to Winnipeg. That'll be for Michael. Uh, Michael as well. Say Michael. Michael Anger. There's Jordan Stahl, and then there's Eric Stahl. Celebrated moments, Connor McDavid. Save a Sidney Crosby base card for Kevin. That's what he was looking for. Maybe some ink. Ooh, a redemption. And there's Shane Bowers, future watch autograph to $9.99. For the world champs, Colorado Avalanche, Michael Langer with that. I don't know how much... How much uh, how many minutes Shane Bowers got? I feel like I saw him a couple times out there, but there you go. Still gets his name, I think he still gets his name etched in the cup. No, maybe he maybe he wasn't really involved in that. I think he was with the Colorado Eagles. So maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what he gets out of that. Sean D is guessing a Kaprizov redemption, which would make Steve L very happy. Fingers crossed on that, he says. All right. Good luck, everybody. A future watch rookies auto numbered to nine ninety nine, and it's Dylan Cousins. Uh, Dylan Cousins, Buffalo, New Jersey. Uh, Buffalo Sabers, Buffalo. Your seventh overall pick in twenty nineteen. Did Mike, did you guess that before I said it? If so, that was a good guess. All right. And that's Mark with the Sabres. Won that team in the filler. Ah, Mike Tower figures. He had them in Pick Your Team 1. Let's look at the ESPN's uh, way too early power rankings. Not surprising, they got Colorado on top. Their cup odds to win again is plus 450. Second, of course, Tampa Bay Lightning. They're 10 to one, the corner of Vegas. 
Are they the second closest favorites? Yeah, actually kind of tied with... So there's a few 10 to 1 teams. So the Avs are the overwhelming favorite. And they got Tampa Bay at 10 to 1 to try to win it again. Rangers are 10 to 1. Hurricanes are 10 to 1. Panthers are plus 900. There's some 12 to 1 teams as well. Gilo, what's going on? How are you? Charismatic's asking, when's the last time someone got a redemption and it was fulfilled? Panini's the worst. Upper deck isn't great either. To be fair, I, I think a majority of the time it's usually on the players. Not necessarily the, uh, not necessarily the company. Although, maybe the company could lean on those guys a little bit more, but... It just depends, I think. I know Rex got a Topps Redemption recently out of a retail box or pack or something. and The turnaround for him was pretty quick. box and Nick Robertson is your autograph uh, 91 out of 999 for Toronto who, according to ESPN, is third on the power rankings. That will be for Jessica and Toronto Maple Leafs. Any relation to Jason Robertson? Isn't there a Jason Robertson? Got a sign of the times. David Riddich for Calgary. That will be for... Matt Buckler and the Calgary Flames. Yoga Flame. So apparently Rex saw someone tweet the player that he got, Oscar Colas, and asked him to sign his Bowman cards. He responded as if he didn't know he had anything to sign. I don't know if that's going to work for everybody, though. Keith Yandel to 100 for Florida. Another, uh, another potential favorite to uh, go all the way next season. There's Malkin. Jess is saying Nick and Jason are bros. Nice. I feel like there's a lot of siblings in the NHL. There's a level two Liam Foudy. What sport has the most siblings in it? Different sets of siblings. There's Liam Foudy. Uh, for Columbus, that's going to be for Alex. It's Quinn and Jack Hughes, the Robertsons, the Kachucks. Jordan and Eric Stahl.
Right. I, I, I did see on a NHL draft list that Gecky has a brother, Connor, I think. Morgan has a... Morgan's brother, Connor, might have a uh, brother that's going to get drafted. Suitors. Statsneys. Gekkies. Geekies, Gekkies. I never know how to pronounce that. Now, one wonders if, uh, if and when uh, Fanatics becomes our, our trading card overlords, that if, if that redemption system will be cleaned up a little bit. That's certainly, I'm sure they've heard the feedback. You know, everyone, everyone's aware of the, the uh, frustrations there. So I wonder what, if, if they'll be able to clean that process up a little bit. We'll see. little bit here. Good luck. Yeah, they do have some exclusive packs on the reward side. It's definitely better than than what the reward store was like. You know, when we first started breaking like eight, nine years ago, the points were definitely not very good, <laughs> you know, but um, the reward store was very, very thin. But over the years, they've really started to, um, for what it's worth, they've really started to, to put some nice stuff in the reward store. But I think there are like special packs, speckle, sparkle packs for various products right there they can do. There's Future Watch, level two, Thomas Harley, Dallas, Jessica with Dallas, Spectrum FX. Thank you, Sportport, appreciate that. You do need that reminder, especially in these longer breaks. Another situation, there's a suitor right there. Another situation to look out for is like, if there's a giveaway that I gotta do at the end of the break, but the last hit is like a monster and I'm like doing train whistles and I'm being like, ah, oh, this is a sick hit and blah, 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 blah. When I do that kind of thing, that's when, that's when the giveaway thing falls out of my brain. So when something like that happens, that's when you gotta be like, Joe, focus. I know there was a big hit at the end of the break. You know, but don't forget that giveaway. You don't wanna, you don't wanna make that extra video. See what we got here towards the end. We got Otto Koivula, 603 out of 999 for the Islanders. Future Watch autograph. That'll be for Ryan. Last spot mojo. Strikes again. Anything else? What's that? That's a different looking card here. It's Nico Hersher. Hisher. Nico. For the New Jersey Devils, that's going to go to Matt. There you go, Matt. Nice gold ink autograph. That looks really sharp. I don't think it's numbered, but it looks really cool. Go Devils. Yeah, you're welcome. No redemption there. That's going to go right to your mailbox. Yeah. Don't have to worry about that one. All right. There you go, gang. All right, now let's give away a box. If you bought an even number of teams, half of those teams, uh, the number of those teams become uh, entries. So buy two teams, one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth. 
We're going to randomize those entries. Yeah, I just saw that. Adam Duvall with a dinger here. Oh, we'll get those entries. Randomize them. Name on top gets a sealed box of the brand new 2020-2021 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. Sealed box from, from a completely different case. So who knows what could be in there. If you, uh, you can sell it if you want to. You know, get a little money back for yourself. Maybe a group break, MontreaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Or you can pop that baby open. And uh, if you get something cool, definitely let us know. Or tag us on Twitter, at JaspiesBreaks. Alex got four teams. Half of those become entries. Derek only got one. Han ended up winning two. That's still an entry. And Ku with one. Jake with one. Jason with one. Jeremy with two. That's an entry. Jessica with two. That's an entry. Kev with two. That's an entry. Logan Smith with two. That winning team it gave you that entry there. Mark with just one. Matt with two. That's an entry. Matthew with just one. Michael L. got three teams. Two count. One entry. Ryan Lynn got the last two. That's an entry. Steve with one. Steve L. with two. That's an entry. And Steve P. with just one. One team. That's pretty good. Uh, slightly better odds than the Pick Your Team one. This is one spot out of 11. We'll get, a, uh, we'll get that box. Let me just spot check this really quick so make sure I didn't forget anybody. So Alex, not Derek, yes, Han, huh? not Inku, not Jake, not Jason, yes, Jeremy, yes, Aunt Jessica, Kevin, yes, Logan, yes, no, Mark, Buckler, yes, Wood, no, Langer, yes, Ryan Lynn, not Steve. Just want to make sure. I've, I've, in years past, I've had, I've screwed these up before. I don't want to do it again. Try not to. All right, let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a six, 11 times. Name on top after 11 gets the box. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11th and final time. Name on top after 11 is going to be Michael. There you go, Michael. Congrats to you. After 11, that's a sealed box of this brand new release going your way. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.